guys it's Steve from the Tech Buzz and today I wanted to do a really quick video um, I happened to just turn on my arcade um, from from at games legends ultimate cabinet and apparently there's been an update now I did hear rumors yesterday that there was gonna be a update either yesterday or today um, to address a few things so um, what I want to do is I want to take you to that and kind of walk you through the installation. Uh, so as you can see, as we're looking right now at the um, the cabinet here, uh, version checking 3.0.4 is available right now. And when I looked at the website, as I click the A button, it's, it's going to do the update here. It's downloading. And now we hit the A button again to do the upgrade. And so what I saw on the website is it fixed the delay with the USB um, games that you bring. So if you've been doing like what a lot of us have been doing with the ROMs and you've put games on it and then put it on there, a lot of times when you play the game and you come out of it, you have to wait like three to five seconds before you can go to another, another um, screen. So that was kind of annoying. I mean, it, it happens. And I know you're probably not able to see it right now. Um, looking at the, the screen, it just says firmware upgrading. So I'll come back to the camera here. Um, so until it's, it's done being updated. But um, it just says firmware upgrading on the screen and it's going through the process. So I'll come back to the screen. But so one of the things that it, it, it also did is it enabled you to adjust the resolution of the built-in games. Like if you didn't want the letterbox and it essentially stretches it. I personally am not going to use that as a video guy. I I don't want to. I don't. I don't really want to stretch the screen because that just kind of distorts um, the resolution. And so I would strongly advise against that. But I know there's some people that don't care and they want to do it anyway. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, obviously, there's some other bug fixes in it as well. But those seem to be like the two main main things that are that are going on with it so we'll check it out here once we get into it but um the big thing for me at least is that thumb drive all right now that we're back to the uh, screen let's go over the three main features that they did they obviously did some bug fixes but uh three main features that they did was if you brought your own games onto a thumb drive roms whatever main roms and you put it into the machine, what would happen is when you came out of the game, there would be some latency of like three to five seconds before you can move your joystick selector to another game and potentially choose another game. So that was that was one of the features. One of the other features is changing the aspect ratio. Now, as a video guy, that's not something I intend to do, but I do see the use case. This is a family machine. It's not necessarily just for that single guy in his apartment. This is also a family machine. So I see the draw with it where you're going to get kids maybe two to three years old, five years old, ten years old that want to play these games, and they want it to fill the screen. They don't care if it's stretched. It's one of their favorite games maybe. So I get the draw there and why people would want to do that. I personally have bezel art to fill up that extra area, but listen, it you know, it's something that's for everybody. The other thing is the content restriction. They've added and implemented a feature where if you want certain games to be unavailable for kids uh, under a certain age, you now have that ability with the pre-built games. That's not something you're going to be able to access uh, from anything else like you're bringing your own ROMs. So hopefully you would not put ROMs on there that your kids couldn't play if you were worried about that. So Let's take a look at the first feature um, over on the on the arcade here. We're going to go down to my add-ons because that's where uh, all that's going to be located. I'm going to go into Donkey Kong. So we're going to go into the game. Once the game loads, like it did now, I'm going to exit out, quit the game, and let's see how quickly I can move around. So we get a loading screen, and now I'm able to move around. That's quick. That's that's really quick. Before it would be you'd be sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, all right, let's go back into Donkey Kong. And um, 
<clears throat> what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the menu screen because apparently this is where you can go to adjust. Ah, there it is, display mode. So right now it's set to centered. So let's go to fit. Uh, all right, looks like it just made it longer. So again, I have the bezel art, so I don't want to change that. But there's fit. There's fill. Doesn't really do much because of the way the game is. Pixel perfect and center. All right, let's see if we can go find a game that uh, can really stretch out. Uh, let's go to one of the console games. Um, let's go over here. Let's see if under feature, yes, we'll go under. Uh, so Aladdin, Aladdin's a good console game. So let's see what let's see what it looks like when we stretch that screen out. So they have built-in bezel art. This is how it looks on the cabinet if you were to get it. So let's hit menu. Let's go down to display, there's center, there's fit, there's fill. So, I could honestly see a child wanting to play it like this. I, being a video guy, like I said, I wouldn't run it like this, but, you know, I can see the draw. You know, you come in here, and you see it, and it runs, and I'm sure some of these kids are running their Sega Genesis consoles that maybe they bought on the TVs like I have behind me. Yeah, I could see them running this full screen, so... There you have it with that. Now, let's see if we can find and locate the other feature where you can put limits on what games kids can play. So I'm assuming it's going to be under settings. Uh, so let's take a look under here. As you can see in the settings, you got the Wi-Fi, sign out, and of course, now you've got your content restrictions. So we're going to click the A button on that to see what we can do. Enabling this option will hide any games that are deemed unfit for children under the age of 13. The list is determined by at games as most games predate ESRB rating systems and are subject to change. For inquiries and concerns, email us at support at atgames.net. So in this video, I'll also have in the description the release notes that you can see, and I've also copied and pasted the release notes so you can also see what all has been changed. There you have it. I mean, right there, you have all access to everything. You can see all the latest new features. Kudos to At Games for pushing out these features, pushing out these updates. I love seeing it, and um, I'm happy to take you guys through some of these features as they become available, and I'm going to continue doing so. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you um, select the bell. I guess it's a notification bell to uh, be notified when I update uh, some of the videos and put new videos out. Also, head on over to P-Dub's Arcade Loft. P-Dub is a good friend of mine, and he's been doing a lot of cool videos. In fact, I think his latest video he's done is he got a graphic for his Mortal Kombat Arcade 1-Up cabinet where um, it shows the move list. So go check that out. Go check out P-Dub. Go subscribe to him and also Glenn over at Glenn Retro Show. Glenn does a lot for the community. I'm happy to call him a friend and, and kind of uh, uh, a guy that's very involved in this community so again guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you for watching this video give it a thumbs up give it a like subscribe share and until next time keep it buzzing